Well, here we are, NFL, week number two. And, you know, week one was crazy. But I'm sure week two can be even crazier as, you know, things continue to get a little weird. You know, get a little weird. We're going to get a little bit wild. And now, tonight, it's the debut of the NFL exclusively on Prime Video, exclusively with an interesting matchup between the Chiefs and the Chargers. Uh, this one tonight is going to be really, really interesting. You know, you got Patrick Mahomes and company not losing a step from last season. And then you have Justin Herbert, Khalil Mack, and these Chargers looking for, you know, looking for some respect. You know, a lot of some people are picking this Chargers team to go to the playoffs. Of course, a lot of people have the Chiefs in the playoffs. Again, I, I did not make predictions for the playoffs this year in the NFL because you never know what's going to happen in the NFL. Like, you can see like nine or ten different teams in the playoffs. That's just how it is in the NFL uh, each and every year. This one's going to be good. It'll be real good. I'm going to be watching Baltimore-Miami this Sunday as well. It's it's definitely exciting, you know. Lamar Jackson versus Tua Tagovailoa. Both these quarterbacks are they're doing good. They're doing good. These defenses, they did pretty good last week. Who can keep it up? Who's going to be able to keep it up more? We'll find out on Sunday. Then you got the Jets and the Browns, you know, a battle between Jacoby Brissett and Joe Flacco. I know. Terrible matchup, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't know how this game is going to go. I think, I think the, 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 the spread is like, I believe the spread. No, no, the spread is in the Browns' favor, I believe. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. But that that that's an interesting one. It's not it's not gonna be the greatest game I imagine, but it's gonna be a game nonetheless. Then you got the Commanders and the Lions. That's gonna be interesting, you know. Commanders, you know, they 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 have a lot of Good pieces on offense. Terry McLaurin, Antonio Gibson, Curtis Samuel. I mean, but the Lions are stingy. They already played Philadelphia tough last week. They're going to have to play tough again. They want to win on this beautiful Sunday. The Colts the Jags. Remember, the Colts tied last week. The Jags lost last week. So you wonder how this one's going to go because um, the Colts, they, they can't seem to beat the Jags. I don't know why you know lately because I mean I don't know I don't know but it's gonna be Matt Ryan and Trevor Lawrence out there and I mean this one might be rough to watch unless you're fans of those two specific teams because the Jags didn't look that great you know it look they didn't look the best but I mean they they they, they did all right last week then you got the Buccaneers and the Saints, Tom Brady and company. You know, they're heading on out to New Orleans in the Superdome against J famous Jameis, Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry. You know, this one's going to be fun to watch the early window. Going to be a fun one to watch in the early window. If you want to pair it up with Baltimore, Miami, I suggest you do so like I'm going to do. It's going to be it's going to be an interesting one. The Saints have had the Bucks number for quite some time. And, you know, even though there's been key situations where the Bucks have been able to pull one out, you know, over the past two seasons, the Saints still have the Bucks number. So, I don't know what in the world's going to happen in this game. This this one this one could be interesting, you know. You never know because you, you learned a little bit about the Bucks last week, but you didn't learn too much about them in Tom Brady's, you know, 23rd season as an NFL quarterback, at least the starter. And then you wonder, you know, what in the world kind of game are we going to get between the Panthers and the Giants? You wonder what kind of game we're going to get. I don't know what kind of game we're going to get. You know, this, this one's going to be interesting. You know, you got Christian McCaffrey coming on over to New York in East Rutherford, New Jersey. I think it's going to be a battle between these running backs. Saquon Barkley looked like the Saquon Barkley of old 
last week. And of course, Christian McCaffrey, you know, when he's not injured, he looks amazing. So, you know, I wonder who in the world's going to come out on top here in the battle between, you know, two teams that are looking to prove themselves. You wonder. You also got the Steelers and the Patriots. Now, again, the Steelers should have won by way more last week, but instead they squandered a lot of opportunities and had to go to overtime with the Bengals. And the Patriots are kind of lost in the shuffle. You, you wonder, you know, you wonder right now. I don't know what in the world's going on with the hoodie and company out there in New England, but uh, they got to get it together real quick. Like, you've seen what the Bills did. We'll talk about the Bills in a moment, but you've seen what the Bills did, right, New England? You, you saw that, right? You're going to have to do something. You know, no T.J. Watt for the Steelers, so, you know, it's going to have to be somebody else like Mika Fitzpatrick stepping up. But I wonder, can Mitchell Trubisky, you know, step it up? Yeah, he made a couple plays last week, but it wasn't, it, it wasn't enough last week, you know. Again, this... Again, they should have blown out the Bengals last week, but they didn't. The Rams and the Falcons, that one's gonna be that's gonna, that's gonna be intriguing. You wonder what the world's gonna happen here with Matthew Stafford and company. Uh I mean the Falcons, they blew another lead last week. I mean it it, it kinda hurts, but I mean it's Atlanta. You know. When you have Marcus Mariota at quarterback and you have Kyle Pitts, you know, doing damage at tight end Drake London being nice out there you know Ian the question here is still Mariota that's that's my biggest question with the Falcons right now is Marcus Mariota and so far I don't know I really don't know I can't say anything but the Rams have got to do better than what they did against the Bills to keep themselves in a good position they got to do better than what they did last week 10 points ain't gonna cut it you know you're going to have to do something. Also got the 49ers and the Seahawks. Now the Seahawks, they got to be feeling good about themselves. They got to be feeling real good about themselves. You know, Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers, you know, they're trotting out Trey Lance and the Seahawks. Trotting out Geno Smith. Seahawks defense looked very impressive last week. The 49ers defense did not in key situations. We're talking in key situations. We know the Bears didn't really do too much last week. You know, but somebody's going to have to win this game. And I don't know what in the world's going to happen here either. This way. Like, the Seahawks are actually favored in this game, which is, you know, kind of, I believe the Seahawks are favored. And maybe I'm reading it wrong. I can never read the spreads right sometimes, but. Um, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be intriguing for all the right reasons and all the wrong reasons. Uh, I'm sure a lot of Seahawks fans are probably overreacting after last week because again the Broncos were just incompetent. But uh, we'll see, we'll see what this game entails. And then you got the Bengals and the Cowboys. Now you know Joe Burrow and company are upset. They're upset after last week again. They should have gotten blown out in the first place. And you know. They're looking to take their anger out on somebody. And unfortunately, it's going to be a banged-up Cowboys team. No Dak Prescott for two months. Cooper Rush is going to be, you know, the guy. And now, you know, somebody's going to have to do something for Dallas again. I said a week and a half. No, I said last week. I don't say a week and a half ago. I meant last week. I said last week that the Dallas Cowboys should have leaned more on the run. And that has to be true for at least two months to at least, you know, try and do something. Try and do some kind of damage. You have, you have no Tyron Smith. You have no Leo Collins. You have no Amari Cooper. You have, you know, no Michael Gallup. For the time being, I mean, this Cowboys team is in disarray. I mean, who else are you going to rely on? You can't rely on Micah Parsons to do everything. Somebody on the offense, some of these wide receivers has got to step up. Because the Bengals are angry. They're very angry. Then you got the Broncos in Texas. Boy, you you gotta you you gotta be you, you, you gotta be stupid if you're the Broncos. You know, I, I just don't see how the Broncos blew this game last week against 
the Seahawks, or rather on Monday night. I don't see how they blew it, but they blew it in the worst way possible. Now you got Davis Mills. You know, the Broncos are going up against Davis Mills and company and Jerry Hughes on defense. What in the world is Russell Wilson going to do? They got to do something. Because, I mean, that last week, that was pathetic. Yeah, Nathaniel Hackett is a hack, probably. But uh, something's got to give for the Broncos. They got to do something. They got to beat this Texans team. They got to, they get, they get, they, they can't. They can't let Davis Mills have a first half like he did against the Colts. Because, I mean, that first half for Davis Mills against the Colts was just, man, what in the world was that? The Cardinals and the Raiders, this one's going to be interesting too, you know. What in the world is Kyler Murray going to do? What in the world is he going to do? Can't do everything either, so, you know, the Raiders defense, they, they can play. Um, they, you know, despite the fact that Justin Herbert threw three touchdowns on him last week, you know, the Raiders defense, they can play. They can play something. Unfortunately, somebody on the Cardinals also has to step up. Like, we're wondering, who else is going to do it? And, you know, this, this is um, this is definitely a make it or break it year for Cliff Kingsbury and company. They, they got to do something. Against this Raiders team, they got to do something, you know. And I know I'm kind of repeating myself at some at some points, but I mean, come on, you know, Kyler Murray's got got all this momentum, you know, on his side, you know, and he should be using that momentum to his fullest potential. But instead, you know, things continue to blow up in his face, blow up in the Cardinals' face in the worst ways possible. So. Something's got to give here. And then on Sunday night, the Packers and the Bears. Another Sunday night game between these two teams. I, I don't know how. I don't know how. Um, hopefully this game will not be in a disgusting rainstorm. Because um, Aaron Rodgers and company, they got to do something. They got to do something. You know, I get it. A lot of, a lot of guys were not in the game last week for the Packers, but that was last Sunday. It's it's a new Sunday now. You know, maybe Alan Lazard will be back. Maybe um, Elgin Jenkins, you know, or or David Bakhtiari. You know, some of those guys could be back. But I mean, the Bears—they're scrappy. They're a scrappy bunch. You know, can't take them lightly. There's two Monday night games for some reason, but that's just how the contracts work out as Josh Allen, the Buffalo Bills, and, you know, this, again, this this is a Buffalo Bills team that is favored to win the Super Bowl and everything like that against Ryan Tannehill, you know, and the Tennessee Titans. The Titans, unfortunately, just, uh, they, they, I don't know what in the world happened to that defense last week. You know, Ryan Tannehill's got to do something out there, he, you know. Derrick Henry was a non-factor last week, pretty much, for the most part. Like, highlights didn't even show him too much, if at all. And, you know, Josh Allen and a, a bevy of wide receivers. We're talking a, a a deep, deep core of wide receivers. You know, McKenzie, Gabe Davis. I mean, just, they, they picked apart the Rams in the second half. And they might pick apart the Titans too, especially this defensive line for the Bills. They might they might sack Ryan Tannehill, you know, a couple times if he can't get anything going. So somebody's gonna have to prove something, you know, for the Titans, and it can't just be Derrick Henry. Ryan Tannehill has to step up. And then the last game of the night here, or rather the last game of the week, is also a Monday night game again, due to contracts and stuff. You know, the Eagles. Taking on the Vikings at Lincoln Financial Field. The Eagles defense didn't do too good last week. Um, Justin Jefferson might be, you know, he might be doing the same thing he did to the Packers against the Eagles. So, you know, something's something's got to something's got to give, you know, for this Eagles defense. Now, you know, Jalen Hurts, he's been improving, and. He has to continue that improvement. You wonder, you know, he's got he's got the legs, he's got the arm, you know. 
or rather he well mostly the legs I mean he could he could you know he's probably gonna have one of the best rushing seasons in NFL history by a quarterback I mean potentially who knows at least that's what some people are saying but the pressure the pressure for the defensive line of Minnesota can get to Jalen Hurts it's just you know they, they can get to him it's just you know the, there's a second part to this can can they keep him from running so we'll see you'll see what, what this game entails because this one's going to be real real intriguing to see how it goes and I think you know at the end of the day two Monday night games is fun you know like they're staggered for like like a, it's like an hour of you know of the games being staggered so like you get to halftime at one game and then the other game will have started, which is, I think that's pretty cool. But in any case, that's all I got to say, because, um, you know, we're two hours, well, no, wait, we're three hours away from kickoff, so I had to get this out. So until, you know, we recap everything on Monday night, you know, around 11 o'clock or so, that's going to do it from here. And I'll see you all, you know, at 2 a.m., on Sunday to recap it's probably gonna be like 2 a.m. to recap some of that college football so boy it's gonna be a it's gonna be a crazy weekend see ya everybody